Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. In today's video, we are cleaning the house before I get to decorating for Aubrey's fifth birthday party. She will be having a unicorn theme and I'm just so excited for you guys to see everything that went into throwing her her birthday party. But before any of that gets done, we have to make sure it is actually clean in here. So a lot of the times I like to do a decoration on our sliding glass door. And even if I wasn't doing a decoration, these doors were filthy and needed to be cleaned. You can definitely see outside, there's a lot that needs to be kind of tidied up as well, which I am going to be letting Juan take care of most of that. But in some ways it's kind of nice it's there because you can see just how dirty the door is. Okay, so we are moving on to the bathroom. Obviously, this is a place that's gonna have high traffic during a party, so I wanted to make it look nice. It has been a while, if this may be actually the first time I've ever dusted these shelves. I'm really not a duster. I don't like it. I don't think there's really anybody who enjoys doing it. I obviously like watching it get done, but going and actually dusting things is not my favorite chore. But anyways, I digress. So those shelves will be dusted. And I'm even going to be like cleaning the bathtub, trying to scrub it down with some baking soda and some dish soap just so that it's a little bit cleaner, even though I don't plan on really having anyone use the shower during the party. And then one little tip that I've seen online and I'm trying to embrace now that whenever I clean my toilets is I take like a good amount of water. I dump it down the toilet and it kind of flushes the toilet without refilling so that when you use your toilet bowl cleaner, it can really like stick on to the walls of the toilet bowl and possibly, hypothetically at least, get a better clean than if there was a bunch of water in there kind of diluting it all. So that is one thing that I kind of recently learned and wanted to share with you. You hurt me, you did, several times. It hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't even try. Still, I'm better with than without you. Oh, I, I'm on it, I want it, but why do you seem to call in your eyes? I can't tell if you're here or you're out there. Do you wanna be out there? You don't need. Charming to me I just need this to be real I don't need no fairy tale You don't need a kill Dragon for me I just need this to be real I don't need no fair 
Okay, so we are back to the toilet. The toilet brush has kind of gotten all the water off of it, so I put it back in its little cup. And now I'm just wiping down the toilet with like Lysol wipes. And I have a really like bad habit of not using gloves when I do dishes or when I like scrub the toilet with anything. I kind of figure the Lysol wipes are gonna kill the germs and I'm gonna give my hands a good wash afterwards anyways. So. I don't know, I probably should care for my hands more and wear gloves to protect them, but I just get in a really bad habit of like wanting just to clean in the moment and not have that extra step of searching out gloves, you know, wherever they are in my house. So I just kind of skip it. Let me know if you are guilty of that too, so I know that I'm not alone. Same song, a brand new dance. I wear out my third second chance. You take my breath and I can't get it back. Might be time for me to face the facts. The best me is with you, but I know I got a lot to prove. They think we're too damaged to fix, but we're just working through a little rust. They like to so I'm really glad these shelves are dusted. All these items on the shelves are kind of like a hodgepodge of items. I really don't know if it will stay this way, but for the time being, you know, this is just gonna be how my shelves look, but hopefully in the future, I'll find something that just kind of fits the space a little bit better. And since we are doing things that we don't normally do when cleaning, <laughs> I'm going to be dusting the blinds as well, or the shutters, I guess. Okay, we're moving on to like the floors. We're gonna be vacuuming this rug and then like wet vacuuming the rest of the house, including the bathroom. So that's why it's not like included in the bathroom segment because it's just easier if I get all the floors done at once. But before we get to that wet vacuum that I mentioned, we have to wipe down like the countertops. I have some crumbs on there, so I figured, hey, let's just push them off on the floor. They'll get vacuumed up and we'll give this countertop a nice wipe down in preparation for being covered with a like table cover for the party. And sorry about my camera. It like has this kind of throughout this video at random times, it like focuses in and out and I don't know, it's messing with my eyes, but my eyes are kind of blurry because I'm so tired anyways. So as I'm wet vacuuming here, you might see like streaks of the soap. And I think, I don't know if it's like whenever Juan fills up the soap in the wet vac, it gets really streaky. Like I don't, I don't know how he fills it up. I don't watch him, but like I use one product and he uses another and then probably the concentrations are different. But it's just kind of funny because like I have to wet vac in one direction and then go over without you know, pushing the water button or whatever. Again, like going the other direction to make sure that there's not like tons of streaks of the soap. So it's kind of annoying, but at the same time, I know that like everything's getting vacuumed and it's getting a really good clean.
right, so we've reached the end of the wet vacuuming segment, and now we're gonna move on to vacuuming Aubrey's room. I wanted to do Jack's room as well, but he was like getting ready for bed, and I figured no one would be going in his room anyways during the party, so I'll just vacuum it another day. But Aubrey's room, she always has some reason to run to her room whenever her cousins are over to get a toy. And so I just wanted to make sure it was like nice and clean in there. She did a nice job consolidating her toys into, get, you know, surrounding spaces. That's because she kind of cleans like her dad, kind of clumps everything together and puts it aside. But, you know, it worked and we get to see the nice vacuum lines. Okay, we are just kind of cleaning up our kitchen area. I had recently kind of organized the ledge above the sink and I just wanted to give it a good wipe down. I believe on this night I was going to be prepping some fruit, so I figured I would just kind of clean the area before getting ready for the party in that sense. And we're gonna wrap up today's video by wiping down my glass board. Usually I like to do my own design on here. For the party you'll see that I was sent like a really pretty banner. So it will be covering the board so I probably didn't need to erase our little schedule anyways. But I didn't know, I hadn't opened up the banner yet to see how large it was. And I wasn't sure if I wanted the banner put here, if I was gonna put it somewhere else and I would do my own design here. So I really didn't know and I just wanted to clean it up since it was it was an old schedule and needed to be erased. But I'd like to thank you guys for watching this clean with me video. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am for the party prep video. I haven't started editing it, but I know I have hours of footage to go through. So be prepared. It may be one very, very, very long video, or I might break it up into food and then decorations and activities. But thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button because that really helps me out and I'll catch you in the next Next one. Woohoo! You've made it to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness and I will catch you in the next one.